being from Melbourne and growing up here, this is an area that you know is beautiful. This is the place where everybody drives through and just enjoys the scenery and aspires to be. I never thought that we would be living in one of the most prestigious streets in Melbourne. You know, it wasn't even a dream, it was beyond a dream. You drive up the street and, and frankly it's a wow when you see our house, just to be able to come home and wow, wow, we live there. You know, to go through the security gate, to be able to drive down into your garage, you're completely private, you've got your own oasis, you've got a great space for family and entertaining, but you've also got incredible privacy and peace. It's a great privilege to be able to have such a lot of land, to have the beautiful entertaining gardens out the front where people can see it, you can have functions and photos and still have all of the gardens in the back and the privacy so that our house looks out on our grounds is wonderful. When we built the house we were conscious of the wow factor but I was very conscious that this is my home I want people to be welcome when you come in it's light filled it's airy but you're drawn into an area where you can live we can feel at comfort people when they come here always stay because they're relaxed and that's what we wanted Because we thought about this house for a long time we're obsessive about the detail because we wanted the history of the home it's a society Melbourne house. We got the best people to do all of those things so that we could get the best possible product. This is a home that's timeless, but also will stand for a long time. Our family is involved in so many things, so we needed that duality of a place where family could be at home, but also where it was really easy to entertain. So whether it's you know, 30 people for dinner or 150 for a cocktail party, we wanted an area where we could do that, and we could do it in our living area so that our kitchen is built for a wonderful family lifestyle, but there's also butler's pantry, you know, the, the cool room, and all of those things so that away from where people see, we can have the main work happen. That makes makes it easy to entertain. Again, I went into ease, went into simplicity, went to hospitality. We love light, we love the gardens, so all year round we wanted to have a summer house where we could have the indoor and outdoor experience all at once, where it could be the hub of the indoor-outdoor entertaining and just enjoying the environment. Because it's a family home but we also entertain, we wanted everybody to have an environment that was their own. So each bedroom of course has a bathroom and has plenty of space for, for living. Because we have guests staying most of the time, we have family staying a lot of the time, we wanted everyone to feel like this could be their home and they had a place of privacy as well as that, that communal spaciousness. I think a main bedroom is so important because when you've got a healthy marriage then that creates a great environment. So we wanted a space where we could relax, where we could sit. I love just being able to linger in bars. I love being able to have all my clothes where I can get to them. So we wanted a space that really worked for us. And because we stay in hotels so much, we wanted something that was better than a hotel room that really worked for us. This is an amazing property, but first and foremost, it's a wonderful family home. It's built to be a place where a family can thrive and flourish and entertain and have lots of uh, wonderful hospitality events that create great memories. It's a place of peace. It's a place to call home.